Hi, my name is Erika Mamba and welcome to Profiling, Combining and Disputing Data video series. In this video series, I'll discuss about com data conversion, how we can convert uh, data. And uh, that's when I did this, but that's fine. So on the previous video, so I discussed about UNONEL, Merge, Merge Join, Lookup, Condition Split and Multicast. So if this is the first video, please go back and watch other videos. So what is data conversion transformation? So data conversion transformation converts the data in an input column to a different data type and then copies into a new output column. Okay, let's go back to the working environment and see these two here. So I'll say data and you'll see data conversion and you can see converts data from one data type to another. Converted data is written to a new output. You have to pay attention. Whenever you convert your data, make sure you go back and do the remapping. Okay. For example, convert data from a column of decimal type on an output to an integer or a string or unicode. So in here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and add data type and I'll go ahead and connect So I've connected it to the data conversion and um, I can go ahead and uh, double click. I click the wrong one. So I go ahead and edit this. And in here we do have different data type. The biggest one as you can see here, um, uh, most of the times is string. Uh, if you are dealing with a text file, you will see maybe the data type is Unicode string you may need to convert and uh, i'll include the link on how i did this and some of the examples but uh, as you can see this string you can convert that or maybe um uh, unit price i think the data type is currency you can do maybe a string or maybe you can change it to um float or maybe two decimals and all, mm -hmm. all that. And you can do more than one. And the other thing you need to pay attention here is the um, output areas. You're going to get a new column here, which is going to be a copy of that. And you can go ahead and maybe rename this to date or new uh, date or that. And this would be your output. And uh, for example, this you can see it's a database date. You can go ahead and change just to date, whatever you want to do. And that's pretty much how we use date. We, I don't have a, a good examples, but um, I can send a video where um, we are uh, having issues uh, importing this data to a text file. And I can try to uh, uh, do here really quick and see if I can mimic that. Oh, if I can. Uh, uh, generate that error message. So I need a destination flat file. And I'll go ahead and uh, is 
acting up. And sometimes it needs a little bit of babysitting here. And I think it's caused by my computer resolution. So if I double click here and configure, and I can give it a name, maybe this is customer product, text file. And I go ahead and create a new name, I'm gonna browse. I just leave the file here and I'll say this customer product, the txt, you can save it as CSV. And everything else I'm gonna leave as the it is. Uh, check my mapping so everything works perfectly. And I'll go ahead and run this package. run it close this i don't need it should have removed this and uh the odds is uh the all the data has been imported successful and if i go back to the file you can see the file has been created and if I double click, I'll see all my data in there with the names and all that. So if I send you this file, you should be able to create your own database, but I do have that file already for you guys. If you need, you can just ask me. But um, here, my example didn't work about um, data conversion. So it wasn't a good example here, I cannot mimic, but I'll include the link below where you're gonna run into issues about data conversion and all that, so that you can see exactly what was going on. So I'll stop here, I don't wanna uh, spend much of the time. Um, thank you very much, I'll talk to you guys next time. Peace.